another reason why we got the California is because our uh, YouTube channel name would be pretty stupid otherwise. <laughs> you didn't pick the channel name first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning. It's uh, another lovely day on the south coast. We're going to take this morning to um, address a question that comes up loads and loads of times uh, on YouTube and even when I'm just speaking to general public, uh, everyone asks the same thing and that is, why are you wearing a pink t-shirt? I like the pink t-shirt, but actually it's why did we buy a California? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Why did we buy, <laughs> why a California? So, um, it all kind of, we decided ages ago that we wanted to get some form of camper van, motorhome, caravan, uh, tent maybe. However, we did buy a tent oh God. <laughs> a couple of years ago, <laughs> put it up once in a garden and never ever used it again. No. So, not, not because there's anything wrong with tents at all, it's just, we're a bit too lazy to put up a tent and we're a bit concerned. It was a difficult tent anyway because it was one of those um it's like a canvas type tent yeah it, it was hard work it was a very it was good heavy, tent. heavy and hard work wasn't it yeah it was great though yeah it was a big sort of teepee kind of style tent and it was brilliant it but been um, brilliant. some some people also um asked why we didn't look at caravans uh, a couple of reasons why we didn't spend too we did look in we some did caravans, look at caravans but yeah we certainly did look at them for us they kind of got um, discounted fairly quickly just because um, I, I generally find it a little bit daunting the idea of towing um, that's that was a yeah. bit a little bit sort of not scary but you know it, it's something that I'd never done before so it was pushing me out of my comfort zone um, also I looked into we had a Volvo XC60 at the time but it's just a two-wheel drive one um, and the the smaller engine so I looked at um, but what that you, is a great car it's so a great if, car don't if, get me wrong if you were gonna tow something well yeah but the, you've got to look at what you can pair that up with and because it's yeah. two-wheel drive you can pair it up with quite as much as the four-wheel drive yeah. one and it just got a bit mind-blowing like um, working out what can tow what and what fit what caravan you can get and also take into account our licenses where we're only allowed up to a maximum of 3500 yeah. kilos or something along those lines so um it just got a bit complicated and for us with having bentley the biggest thing we like to do is like today just come to the beach for the day now i'm not going to tow a caravan down here and pitch that up um, um it just wasn't for us at this point in our lives yeah so then the next port call was to try out maybe a motorhome we really enjoyed going around the motorhome showrooms it's brilliant oh, yeah. going in and out every single one just just trying out yeah. uh, see what they're like and it's it's amazing the, the amount of different styles there are it's just yeah. endless there's there's an option for absolutely everyone um so in the end we decided we would hire one and yeah. we hired one for three nights um and we went to towards glastonbury way in somerset we hired from a company called land cruise yeah um, they were very really, very good though. really good really good their van was immaculate it was uh, they had loads to choose from um yeah they i couldn't fault them at all yeah they have pet friendly ones that are specifically for dogs and we hired one of those it was set up so that the it was supposed to be one with two rear bunks and they'd remove the bottom bunk and turn it into a little area just for the dog, which could access from the outside and also from the inside, which was really, really quite cleverly done. Uh, it, would have, it would have been brilliant if Bentley had liked it. Yeah, he didn't travel <laughs> in it well at all. He was petrified of it. Oh, I um, ended up with bruises all down my legs because I had to sit in the back with him. Uh, yeah. And he basically sat on me whilst I held on to him and I ended up with these huge bruises on my thighs from I think him standing on me. It was because uh, of all the pots and pans yeah. in the cupboards and it, it's a big vehicle. The cupboards vehicle. make a lot of noise as well. Yeah, yeah, he did not like that at all. Um, and the other issue that we found with it was it had um, shower, toilet, uh, kitchen, everything in it, which is very useful. However, because of that, it just had a narrow corridor down yeah. the middle and Bentley would go down towards the back when you'd be in the kitchen Bentley would wander down to the back and he couldn't turn around so so he would have to reverse up uh, yeah and you're in there with him at the kitchen it was just a bit too cramped now I know that there's 
there's a million different options yeah. so yes you we we could get a different motorhome that would fit our needs i'm sure the option that if we were going to go down the motorhome route uh, that we would have gone for would have been a rear lounge i think yeah. because that did work a big u-shaped U rear lounge would have worked provided there was no fixed table in the middle uh, which most of them don't have i don't think but it's certainly something that we're not opposed to for the future no. potentially but i mean they are they're also um the expense is very different because it would ha you can't use that as a car either yeah. um so it would have to be a and it third would have to vehicle be a third vehicle yeah and then we'd have to find somewhere to store it yeah so for us at this time the motorhome didn't really work um so at that point i don't think we were actually even sure about camper vans because we hadn't really experienced them but it we, seemed to tick a lot of boxes already in the sense that we could use it as a second car and um if we could if, if we thought there was enough space in it then that actually potentially would be brilliant so we started we, looking didn't we whenever we discussed camper vans we totally discarded it because there wasn't a toilet on board yeah and yeah. it's funny because <laughs> And it was the immediate reaction. It's also like, yeah, but there's no toilet on board, so yeah. We but don't we want never that. used the shower in the motorhome already. We'd used the showers at the sites that we'd gone to. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the shower wasn't really a problem. It was only really the toilet. Um, and we we only really used the toilet in the in the evening when um, or at night time in the motorhome, yeah. despite it being there all the time. So then we thought, well, what what options are there? And we looked at. Um, we did go and have a look at a VW California at uh, Pool, yes, um, VW yeah. in Pool, and um, yeah, we just fell in love with it, didn't we? We well, thought this I was it was it was so much bigger than we expected it to be. the The biggest thing for me, I think, was the bed upstairs because we knew that we were going to have to have a bed upstairs, and we'd have to sleep in that one so that Bentley could have the downstairs area. Yeah. Um, so. Thankfully, they basically just gave us the keys and let us have a proper it was, explore it was already without set them up. being there. It already had the roof up, already had yeah. the seats swivelled, so it was all set up so we could get real sense of just the space that we have. Well, I instantly climbed upstairs to see how much room yeah. there was, and I, I, I still cannot believe how much room there is upstairs. Yeah. So we, yeah, we looked at uh, the VW California, took a brochure away, had a really good sort of peruse of the brochure, and um, yeah, found it. Uh, really intriguing so then also towards Bournemouth way there is a big um, dealership that sells uh, VW conversions they've got loads of different ones they've got they're really cool aren't yeah they? they're really yeah cool. and I, I still certainly agree if you if you want um, a VW van to be a little bit more bespoke a bit and, edgy yeah and a bit stand out a bit more that kind of thing um, they they're brilliant you can definitely get them to your specification you can yeah. if you, like if you want hot water you can have that put in the big the biggest thing is the fact that we we looked at a various different uh, ones at this um, dealership but they did also have a 10 year old VW California yeah, on the forecourt I that. and you look we looked around the 10 year old VW California was 30 grand on the on the forecourt <laughs> at and 10 we like, years old and we so we looked at pricing one up and everything like that and it, it just looked like they really retained their value we basically narrowed it down to the VW California and then we got the option of do we go for the beach do we go for the ocean um, I think it was obvious that we were going to go for the ocean just purely because it had everything on board already whereas the beach you would have had to potentially buy an extra kitchen to put in the back and then yeah. you would have to get it out each time and don't get me wrong that's brilliant for people who won't be using it in the same way that we do but and again that have kids because uh, yeah. you have that extra space on board yeah. um for for sleeping and living and i, I and for another passenger because it's yeah. five seater as opposed to four which this is and come come summer i think we will be cooking outside of the barbecue all the time so then you've kind of got all this yeah. which, which you're not using but but it's more it, difficult to just make a cup of tea like yesterday yeah. i just went down to the beach with bentley we went for a lovely walk and then came back sat in yeah. the van and just made myself a cup of tea and sat there for another 40 minutes or so we wanted a brand new one just because of the warranty period and, and the residuals the, the residuals, residuals are so yeah. good that we were looking at year old ones and they were nearly as much as brand new ones yeah. if not more because of the waiting list so um, um we bought ours when we did because we're planning to see the honeymoon in september um we actually booked the ferry tickets the other day that's a winner yeah um yeah. but uh 
we were thinking about the changes in tax brackets that's going to be happening or has yeah. happened now in April. In the UK, the yeah. road tax for vehicles over £40,000 has just commanded a huge premium each year of another £310 every year yeah. just because the vehicle is over £40,000. Thanks. I mean, yeah. we have got so much use out of it already. I mean, in, in essence, why we, why we bought the van, um, our number one priority was Bentley. It always is um, for us because we wanted to be able to go away with him. Um, we wanted something that would um, sort of fit into our lives quite nice so we wouldn't have to have a third car so that's why we went for a VW and yeah. we use this as our daily car we use this to go to work as well it's very um, comfortable to drive it's really though. comfy it, the we've got the automatic gearbox which is just fantastic it's yeah. so so smooth and it just makes driving yeah. it so easy I can't imagine life without it now and I can't imagine us not having one and the things we use it for aren't necessarily what we would have expected so Sean does um, night shifts where he does get a chance to have a few hours sleep so he'll actually come into the van and have a sleep in yeah. the van. I leave the roof down but I just make this bed up before I go and have all the blinds down and then just pull up and yeah I put the heater on one so it just keeps it uh, warm and I can pop in this uh, for a couple of hours on my night shift. But um, um, even days like today where we've come to the beach for the day instead of hiring a beach hut you can just drive yours around essentially yeah, so you have your... there's loads of bits that we didn't expect to use it for but we use it for loads now and yeah we're lucky in, in our mind anyway we're lucky because we work shifts so we can come here like today on a thursday uh middle of the week no one else is here and it's i didn't even realize it was thursday <laughs> and, and it's great um yeah it just gives us that that freedom yeah. as any motorhome caravan or camper van owner will know whenever you um, talk about your caravan motorhome or uh, camper van the amount of people that say oh yeah but for that kind of money you could have loads of holidays to Spain or whatever you mean that's a lot of holidays to wherever uh, yeah that's we're gonna fine. use this for our holidays so yeah you, you can still go to Spain you can still do all that but it's also this all this other um, additional usage that yeah. you get uh, just getting out of the house and seeing various different parts of the world uh, or various different parts of our country is just fantastic. Well we've uh, we've just got back and I've um, clearly our camera got bored of us talking about why we got <laughs> to California because it uh, just decided to uh, fail with some of the sound but all we we're gonna say is um, we hope it gives you a good idea as to why we bought the California um, any questions pop them in the comments below we've got lots of social media going on now as well we've got yeah. facebook page twitter we're on instagram as well and we're answering questions on all of them so yeah. um but most importantly i think we're both really really chuffed with our decision yep to yep. get this it was i think that really, comes across really quite decision. clear <laughs> in the video but yeah we love it um so if anyone's interested in getting one um yeah do it you won't regret it they are great definitely and um yeah please keep watching our videos really appreciate all the feedback that you guys have been given it's fantastic um really really motivational so uh yeah uh, please subscribe and like the like the uh, video and we shall see you in the next one bye cheers <laughs>